Now to the drastic decline in the world's wild salmon population and the research taking place here to try and tackle the problem. In the 1980s, there were between 8 and 10 million salmon swimming in the Atlantic. But that number has now plummeted to between 2 and 3 million, with fears that salmon could disappear from our seas and rivers within 30 years. In January last year, the Scottish Government officially recognised the fall as a crisis, and now researchers are turning their focus to Dumfries and Galloway. Well, our reporter Lewis Warner joins us live from the River Nith, which is home to a scientific project trying to understand what exactly is causing the problem. Lewis, tell us more. Thanks, Greg. Yes, this isn't just a local problem, but one that spreads the breadth of the Atlantic Ocean. And researchers are now looking to this very water that I'm standing in to try and find some answers. That's because salmon start their lives in rivers just like this one before heading out towards the Atlantic. But somewhere along the way, something is going seriously wrong. So much so that within the next 10 years, wild Atlantic salmon could become an endangered species. Below the murky surface of our rivers and seas is a place fewer fish now call home. Here and around the world, wild salmon are in crisis, with a decline of 70% in just 25 years. Above water, their disappearance is a cause for real concern. Salmon are an iconic species. They've got deep cultural connections with humans, with us as a species. And I can't imagine a world without them. You know, the first carvings of salmon are on Pictish stones. And we have a long tradition of interacting with this species. With numbers falling to an all-time low, researchers have turned to the River Nith for answers. They've installed monitoring equipment, which they hope can shed some much-needed light on what's really happening underneath. The key aim for this project is to find out how the fish are using the west coast. Are they heading straight out to sea? Uh, and going straight into the Atlantic, or are they hugging the shore and heading up um, through the Minch and, and along, on, along our coastline here? And, and if we know that, then we're able to better protect them as they go further north. In order to accurately monitor the levels of salmon in the River Nith, nets are being used just north of Old Girth to capture those swimming down the river. Once they've been caught, they'll be tagged before being released at the same spot and allowed to continue on their journey. As the salmon make their way towards the Solway, they'll be monitored by acoustic tracking devices placed at key locations, allowing conservationists to see their journey and, crucially, to see where numbers might be dropping off and what might be causing the problem. All we're trying to do with this exercise here is to eliminate certain areas of those fish's migration where we can actually say for, for certain, well, the fish passed by this uh, receiver and there was no issues there and they passed the next receiver there was no issues there ah there's maybe a problem three receivers down the river what happened in that section of river scotland's rivers are home to 90 percent of the uk salmon population and that's why the team behind the project say the river nif is perfectly placed for this research Data will be collected for around 100 days before any action can be taken to prevent salmon from slipping away. Well, this project relies on the data collected by those acoustic sensors in the river. There's one of them just uh, below the water here, and I'm joined now by the man who put them there. Jim, uh, you are you're from the fisheries board here, so when you take these sensors out in around 100 days' time, what do you hope that data will show you? Well, we hope that the data so that marks where all the young salmon have swum past each one of the sensors, and then we can work out, A, how long it took for the fish to come down the river, and was there a problem between two of the, the sensors? It will highlight any issues that, that are occurring in the river. Um, just st we're standing here in the river now in these beautiful surroundings it's hard not to be struck by the beauty of, of where we are you're kind of tasked with preserving this place and preserving the river how do you feel knowing that salmon might not be around for that much longer it's a real concern it should be a real concern for everybody that really lives uh, in the countryside because these are an important species and we certainly from a management point of view don't want to see them going down on our watch 
Absolutely not. Jim, thank you very much and best of luck with the project. So around 100 days to collect this data then before scientists will sift through and then develop policy to protect salmon. The River Nithair looking beautiful even on a chilly evening. Lewis, many thanks.